Hi, it's James from Acacia, and today I'd like to talk to you about stock taking. There's three parts I'd like to talk to you about. Preparing for your stock take, the process in MYB XO Business, and the accounting behind the scenes. Now first of all, preparation for your stock take. Uh, you've got to plan it. Uh, my advice is uh, consideration for uh, uh, location-specific stock takes, uh, such as uh, uh, by bin code or uh, rolling stock takes. Uh, and also to ensure that there are no stock movements in and out of the count zones uh, during this time. This could be receipts or uh, stock transfers or sales being processed. It's also a great opportunity to uh, consider uh, impaired stock. Uh, you may have uh, some dusty old goods sitting in the corner that you uh, should take the opportunity to, uh, to discount and sell off. Okay, so without further ado, let's look at MYB XO Business and how stock takes work within it. So under the stock uh, icon, I'm going to select stock take. And today we're going to initialize a stock take for the Sydney location. Click on the initialize button. Okay, now this brings us up to a stock take item selection screen, which allows us to uh, select um, our criteria. Now I'm going to do, if I untick that show all stock items, we see that we've uh, opened up these uh, selections here, and I'm going to choose wheels and tires. Okay, so... I'm selecting from stock group 6 to stock group 6. Uh, you'll also see that we can uh, uh, untick or select all bin codes and then be able to choose a range of uh, bin codes. Uh, again, breaking up that, uh, that larger task into smaller portions. Okay, and you'll also find that there is a custom filters uh, uh, entry here which allows us to put in custom SQL scripts based on um, your uh, your specific business configuration, but I'll leave that unticked for today. Okay, so initialize a location, yes. Okay, and the stock take has been initialized. What this means is it has taken all the system uh, quantities by a stock code from the parameters that I've selected, and it's uh, attached them to this stock take as at this location. Okay, so you need to be very aware of uh, the implications of that, because uh, if I have uh, five in the system uh, and then 10 minutes later I receipt another 10 into the system, the system will say that I have 15. Okay, uh, and unfortunately the stock takes saying that I've got 5. So if I was to then count 15, it's going to want me to do a stock adjustment for another 10. So we've got to be very careful of that. Okay, so uh, I've initialized uh, the stock take. Now theoretically people are going to go off and do a count. Okay, so uh, these busy little beavers are going to want a count sheet, so we'll print that off. Uh, Got that by t clicking on the count button there. Okay, uh, you provide that to your people, which who will go away and fill a quantity into there. Okay, uh, time passes and these busy beavers come back with fully completed count sheets. Uh, we're going to then want to enter these into the system. So there's two methods of doing that: the key count or the import count. Now I won't cover the import count uh, today, um, but essentially it's for larger stock takes where we can import from a CSV file. Um, you give me a call if uh, you want to talk more about that. Uh, as I say today, it's going to be the simple version, keying the count. Okay, so we can see here that we've got all four stock codes that uh, that we've um, selected from our parameters. Um, I'm just going to put the copy system quantities in there. Uh, just so I can see a number, and you'll see a oh, nice round number of 20 each. Okay, now I'm going to make up some numbers here. I counted 30 of those, 10 of those, 25 of them, and 15 of those. Okay, so we can see that those vary greatly from our um, count quantities, sorry, from the quantities that were in the system. Okay, so if I save and exit this, we'll see now that we have a keyed date and time. Okay, so the next step is to then uh, print out the variance. And this is for the accountant or person in control of the stock take to review. Okay, so we can see from this report that the system quantity was 20, however we counted 30, meaning that our count value is $3,000 more than our system value uh, because there's a variance of 10 more than the system thinks there is. Uh, and then of course we've got the uh, quantity times the cost, which is saying that we've got a $3,000 variance to value. Uh, now all of these items here uh, will of course be posted as stock adjustments, which I'll cover uh, very shortly. Okay, so um, let's move to the next step. 
Okay, so once we've reviewed that variance, uh, obviously at this stage, uh, if there is a significant variance, you're going to want to go back through your count uh, and try and find any of the missing items um, to try and reduce that variance and just get the accuracy as much uh, as uh, as close as possible. The next step is going to be upload. Okay, so once we click this upload button, it's going to then commit the new quantities into the system. Okay, so I'll click the upload button. So this is a very important consideration here because this is going to take a uh, make a stock adjustment uh, into the system as at the transaction period we select. So the transaction date, uh, let's pretend like it's a uh, previous financial year. It's probably going to be locked. Nah, flag it. Okay, so what we're going to uh, put into the system will be a uh, stock adjustment as at that date which will go into that period uh, to that branch. So if I click OK, upload successfully completed. So now if I was to check any stock items from the wheels and tires group, we should see that we have that stock amount and also a stock adjustment a stock adjustment posted into that previous period so we can see those stock counts that's just from when I was testing earlier alright okay so uh, I said we'd uh, look at the accounting of this and the best way to do that is to look at the ledger postings okay so if I just run new GL post run print that to screen we'll see that the uh, stock adjustment ledger is being increased and the stock on hand was being decreased because uh, that's how the stock valuation went. Uh, so you, again you have to be very aware that these uh, these transactions, uh, or sorry, these uh, journals are occurring behind the scenes whenever you perform a, uh, a stock take. Alright, so uh, in conclusion, um, XO works with stock takes. Uh, first, the first step being, of course, that we have to uh, initialize the stock take. Now, remember again uh, that cutoff is very important. There, uh, you want the stock uh, value and sorry, the stock quantity in the system to be as accurate uh, as possible. So, uh, take special consideration for any uh, inwards or outwards goods. Um, Second, the uh, the count process, the physical process, uh, it's much easier to perform a series of smaller tasks uh, than one very large one, so consider uh, rolling stock takes or periodic stock takes. Second, uh, keying the count uh, can be manually done, but it can often be quite error prone, um, so perhaps we could even consider doing a CSV import from file. Um, again, talk to us if you need more help with that. Uh, reviewing the variance must be very careful with uh, ensuring that the, the count is as accurate as possible so that the stock um, adjustment uh, journal uh, isn't, uh, isn't too large, um, unless it needs to be of course. Uh, and second of all, uploading the variance um, and committing the data. Ensure that the, uh, the correct uh, period is selected, uh, otherwise you'll be posting the adjustment to the incorrect uh, financial period. All right, that's enough from me today. Um, if you need more help, look, uh, feel free to give me a call. Um, and look, and we'll talk, talk further. Thank you very much.